good morning my dear students uh, today we will study the the irc including standards here that is from irc 6 so for your designer bridges we are having two uh, two two code books uh, one is irc 6 and one more is irc 21 so in irc 6 we are going to study about the different loading conditions what are the different loading conditions are they that we are studying that is our dead load live load seismic load uh, uh, wind load all those things uh, variety of loads all those loads we are going to study in the irc 6 so all of you please go through your irc 6 code book once again okay so in this today's uh, lecture uh, we will discuss about the this irc irc loading standard that is irc 6 uh, in this category we are having different types of loads so the importance of those loads and how to take those loads we will study here So the main purpose of uh, in design of bridges what we are doing, we are doing the design of the deck slabs and uh, beams isn't it, uh, we are designing design of deck slabs and uh, beams that is T beams and all those things. Here the main thing I think in your uh, previous semester, the previous semester also you have studied about the RCC, okay. So in RCC what you have studied is the uh, what you are going to do, you are going to take the dead load, live load isn't it okay dead load live load and you are going to make it as factored load okay and for that factored load you are going to find out the bending moment again in bending moment there are again different support conditions simply supported cantilever and UT and all those things so for that uh, you are going to find out the moment and for that moment particularly for that moment you are going to take the design the steel and a concrete thickness of the slab or a beam okay these things you have studied in your previous semester in you know, RCC but in this subject we are uh, in the subject again it is a design only it is same concept whatever you have did the design in the previous semester same concept but here we are doing the design of the bridges okay with the help of limit state design okay uh, with the help of limit state design here so again uh, here the main concept is the loadings so there the load you are taken is dead load and a live load okay so here uh, dead load will be taken uh, that is you know the cross section of the uh, member into the density of the material the density of material that may be concrete or anything okay so that you are doing calculation of the dead load but the live load here live load uh, we are considering these things so this is irc loading standards here the, for the live load if there are to four different uh, types categories here one is irc class aa loading next is irc class 70r loading irc class a loading see there irc class aa loading 70r loading class a loading and class b loading these are four different types of irc loading standards are there so we'll go one by one here remember it is what are the four different types of loadings irc class aa loading irc 70r loading irc class a loading and irc class b loading these are four different types of loadings are there in your irc codebook irc 6 okay these uh, will discuss about one by one about these what is irc class a loading how to take the loading and all those things okay uh, in again in the IRC we are having uh, in loading patterns we are having two types of vehicles one is the wheel vehicle and there is the tracked vehicle so in wheel vehicle wheeled vehicle and the tracked vehicle so the loading so the main purpose of taking this is the maximum load the maximum load which can be occur on that bridges okay these are the two things one is wheeled vehicle and a tracked vehicle that is from army okay these vehicles are very heavy so we are referring these vehicle loads for the design of our bridges clear what we are referring we are not referring our normally vehicles what we are our cars and all those things okay we are referring the army vehicles because the maximum load these are vehicles are having 
though one is tracked vehicle is having 700 kN and wheeled vehicle 400 kN this we will study in later part here here one more thing here the types of vehicles are two one is wheeled vehicle and another is tracked vehicle so why the we are uh, the comparison between the wheeled vehicle and the tracked vehicle so in your uh, swarm your in your swarm you studied about the udl and the point loads okay so the wheeled vehicle here in the figure one here it is having on one side it is four wheels on other side it is four vehicles uh, four wheels whatever the load of this wheeled vehicle uh, which is there which is going to be transferred to the slab through these eight wheels isn't it through these eight wheels these wheels having contact of small contact area isn't it small contact area okay width of the how much it is it is width of the uh, tire and the contact area how much it is contacted with the so it's it's uh, act like a point load it is act like a point load so there are four dip, uh, four different eight different uh, four on one side four on other side point loads but when you come to the tracked vehicle it is having some load this load has been transferred uh, through the slab in terms of udl in terms of what udl so you can see the bending moment diagram of the point load and the udl uh, so which one will give the maximum bending moment wl square by 8 okay okay wl square by 8 uh, if it is point load it is pl by 4 for a simply supported beam design okay so here in wheeled vehicle the load is transferred in terms of point load but in tracked vehicle load is transferred in terms of uniformly distributed load here the point comes the contact area okay where the contact area is more in case of tracked vehicle the contact area is more so that pressure pressure is equal to what load divided by cross-sectional area what is the pressure pressure which is going to build is what it is load divided by cross-sectional area so in case of tracked vehicle in case of tracked vehicle contact area is more contact area is more that is load divided by more contact area will give what lesser pressure load divided by more contact area will give what lesser pressure but in case of wheeled vehicle more pressure you are going to obtain okay uh, this is about the wheeled vehicle and the tracked vehicle so we are referring from the military vehicles which uh, are there for uh, which we are referring for design of the our slab so these are what live loads here pressure p is equal to f divided by area so when our pressure will be low when area contact area is more then our pressure will be less isn't it okay so in tracked vehicle you are having less pressure pressure whereas in wheel vehicle you are having more pressure clear so this we are using for the design of the slabs again what we have studied irc different types of irc loading irc class a loading class a loading 70r loading and class b loading isn't it again in irc class a a loading we are having uh, tracked vehicle and a wheel vehicle just now we have studied the previous uh, uh, slides that is one is tracked vehicle and one more one more is wheel vehicle isn't it so in tracked vehicle the load is uh, the total load is it is 700 kilo newton that is 17 70 ton of the load in the tracked vehicle in the wheeled vehicle it is 400 kilo newton or it is 40 ton you can see the comparison here vehicle which is having tracked vehicle is having 700 kilo newton of the load that is the weight of that load okay the irc class a tracked vehicle we will detail detailly we study about the irc class a track vehicle here uh, you can see the figure this figure will be available in your uh, irc 6 codebook you can go through that one in that uh, it is there 
the this figure is there here clearly observe the things here uh, the first one here see the distance between this is you can call it as nose and this is called as tail distance between the toe and nail it no nail it is 7200 mm or it is 7.2 meter okay and here this is side view and this is top view okay in top view we are having two what it is two uh, two tracks okay two tracks the distance between the two tracks it is 1.2 meter how much it is 1.2 meter distance between the two tracks and width of one track it is 0.95 meter width of one track it is 0.95 or 0.950 meters okay so what is the total load on this on the track to class a a track to vehicle it is 700 kiloton or 70 ton so this 70 ton has to transfer to the slab in two tracks okay so what we are assuming we are assuming from one track 735 350 kiloton or 35 ton is going to transfer from other uh, track again 35 ton is going to be transferred isn't it again uh, you have studied about the centroids and the center where it is uh, for a rectangle where it is going to act exactly at the center so it is for from this it is exactly at the center 35 to ton is going to be transferred again from this from the center 35 ton load is going to be transferred the distance between the two track is 1.2 meter and uh, here ground contact length it is 3.6 meter ground contact length it is how much 3.6 meter where it is here from this end the ground contact length from this to this it is 3.6 meter right clear and uh, there should be a gap between the two vehicles uh, how much it should be uh, nose to tail spacing of the successive vehicle should be minimum 90 meter means from this to this between two vehicles there should be a 90 meter of gap will be there to avoid the congestion why to avoid the congestion the minimum distance between the two vehicles that is from tail of one vehicle to the nose of another vehicle it should be what 90 meters and one more thing the minimum clearance clearance distance between the road face of the curve and outside of the edge this one this is okay what what it is this This is the curve. This is the curve. The distance between the outside of this, uh, outside of the this tracked vehicle and to the curve, it should be 1.2 meter. Here, the contact area is how much? The area of contact is 0.85. That is width of the uh, tracked vehicle. One track. Uh, it is 0.8 meter. 8.0 meter and the length it is 3.6 meter here 3.6 meter that is 3.6 here okay this is about the class AA tracked vehicle the total weight it is how much 70 tons so 35 ton from each tracks it is going to be high okay, clear Max, uh, from nose to tail distance it is how much 7.2 meters 7.2 meters uh, 7200 mm and minimum distance between the two vehicles it is 90 meters okay. clear this is about the IRC class AA track vehicle so this we are referring for design of our slabs uh, bridge deck slab okay 
the curved distance how to how much it should be curved distance this is curve that uh, it denotes c the clearer distance between curve and the outside of the track it should be minimum it should be 1.2 meters minimum it should be how much 1.2 meters these uh, loads 35 ton the 35 ton on each track this we are referring for design of the slab uh, from this we are going to take the bending moment then we are going to design it okay this is regarding irc class a tracked vehicle now we will move to the irc class a wheeled vehicle we have studied class a tracked vehicle we have studied now we will move to the wheeled vehicle the total weight of this wheeled vehicle is 40 ton or 400 kilo newton okay now again this is bottom this is top view of this wheeled vehicle this is a side view or a front view you can uh, call it a side view of the vehicle okay from this when you are going to observe this one like this it is going to be c like this here we are having four different vehicles on each side four on this side four on that side okay so we will consider this four on one side each uh, this outer edges of the uh, wheel is carrying 3.75 ton of the load and this uh, at the center it is carrying 6.25 ton of the load and here also it is 6.25 the ton of the load and this edge it is 3.75 so totally how much it is 10 9 10 20 20 ton on one track okay 20 on one track 20 on the other side so it is 40 ton so it is 400 kiloton load it, it is going to be carried again you can see here it is it is in the terms of point load four different point loads on one side okay again the so, the distance between uh, the center to center distance with axles of the load center to center between distance between axles of the load that is equal to 1.2 meter center of this axle to the center of this axle this distance is what 1 point one point two meters how much it is 1.2 meters and uh, nose tool tail spacing of the successive vehicle should be minimum 90 meter so we have, we have studied nose tool tail distance in a previous also means one to another distance between two vehicles should be maintained uh, tail of one vehicle to the nose of another vehicle the distance between them should be maintained 90 meters 